Hello and welcome back to Drunken Book Club. I'm your host, Holly, joined today with... Weez. And... Uh, not drunk, Brandon. And... I drink chocolate milk, Noelia. And hey, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that jazz. This is our Christmas episode. I was wondering what you meant by Holly. I was like, do I say jolly? What I happens? hear the bells. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, God, Santa's come to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> it's American Dad. Uh, that's a great episode, American Dad. <laughs> Uh, but this week's episode, uh, we we read, I don't know if anyone in the room actually read the short story or not, for more and more and more tales to give you goosebumps. I'm not gonna lie, I totally have not forgot. Read it. <laughs> I, it's I literally for totally free on our archive.org. I know, Sorry. I'm thanks, a teacher, uh, and I've also been commissioned. It's like eight pages excuses, long. Excuses, excuses. Yeah, uh, excuses. Let's pause the podcast right now so we can just go read it real quick. Yeah, oh my you're, guys. Not, you're not touching my copy of this book. This book is worth more than you, Weiss. Oh. oh. I paid 50 bucks for this book. Oh, damn. So I can, so I can complete the collection, yes. Really? Oh, good job. Yeah. Hot dang. Well, I mean, I, I feel it on that. Bumps. Yeah, I mean that's what I that's what I do with Pokemon. But we read Holly Jolly Holiday, or I read Ho- a Holly Jolly Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> You're fine. Don't you worry gave about it. To it. Us and I totally forgot about it. I was about to say I didn't remind you guys, and like we've have, we've been delayed so much. Yeah. Honestly, though, looking back, I don't think that there was any point or a- any point of time. That I would have been able to read it. No, I mean, you don't read for what it's worth. I also don't know how to read. Yeah, yeah you don't know how to read. It. You're a great professor, but you can't read. I mean, you don't need to know how to read the program. Anyways. Uh, wait, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> don't you at least need to know A no. and C? Abbreviations. Weird stuff. Apocap. No. No. Non-words. <laughs> but yes. Uh, so, we read A Holly Jolly Holiday... Uh, guys, before we get into the story, when I say A Holly Jolly Holiday is from a book called More and More and More Tales to Give You Goosebumps, what do you think this story is going to be about before I get into this story? Not about the holidays. It's a, (laughs) it's a, it's a, it's a, give yourself, right? No, this is, is, no, no, this is not, this is, uh, this is the, uh, short stories. Oh, we're going to pull a Futurama. Oh, what do you mean by that? What? When Santa Claus comes to murder them all. Okay, so it's going to be oh an goodness. Xmas tale. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, Noelle, what about you? What oh do you think? Oh, gosh. I feel like it's going to be something unoriginal and just like Ghost of Christmas Past. You're the most off one here. Oh! This whoa. is probably the most original story R.L. Stein, big old <laughs> quotes, wrote. All right. Like, this story... You guys are going to be pretty impressed with it, I think. Are you, gonna, are you saying that R.L. Stein doesn't exist? Uh, yeah, no, he doesn't exist. He doesn't. He he won't kill you in your sleep. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Arlstein Stein doesn't exist. He had a ghost writer. Can't, can't hurt you. Yeah. There, <clears throat> when it comes to these late uh, tales to give you goosebumps books, there are a lot of ghost writers. Oh. Uh, I know with like I think the previous two ones, they have com- confirmation of who they are and which ones they did. With this one, there is no confirmation, but. Honestly, after reading some of these and reading them, yeah, it feels like uh, possibly ghost written. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay, then second guess. There is actual feet in the stockings. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a uh, scary story to tell in the dark, almost. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Hmm. All right, you guys. So uh, here comes the story. Don't be afraid to interrupt with your jokes, your sound effects, and all of the above. Or if you have any questions for me, because I'm the master of the story as I read it in this book and also on archive.org. You can read all these on archive.org, by the way, thanks to, um, uh, I believe, one of the uh, a friend of the podcast. I'm going to put that in quotes because I've only interacted with them very limitedly. But they posted all of the tales to give you goosebumps on archive.org. Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, I will say they're at right here. Okay, so their uh, Twitter handle and Blue Sky handle is at that retro. And also, you should definitely check out their blog, Raiders of the Bookmark, on Blogspot. It's pretty good read. I'm not going to lie. Okay, bye. Thank you, Chris. I, be- I believe I know what it is that's on my head, but I don't want to be like, yeah, I know it. Yeah. But... They share a lot of cool stuff. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Alrighty. Beth is watching a wrestling match between the Crusher and the Gorgon when her sister Jody interrupts the program to show her what she just purchased. It's a copy of Jody's favorite and Beth's least favorite Christmas movie, Holly Jolly Holiday. 
<laughs> oh, also, I, I guess I should also talk about the drink I made for this episode. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I did forget about that. The I'll, drink I'll, that I'll, I didn't drink? The drink that you couldn't have because you're driving. Yeah, that's true. Yes, yeah, yeah. so don't drink and drive for kids. See, they already know <laughs> that I had chocolate milk. Ooh, uh, you know what? Program, that's Chris. a good pairing. That's a good pairing. <laughs> You I feel got, a little tipsy from the chocolate milk? You oh, feel a little man. giddy? It's it's getting at me. Just kidding. I'm not lactose intolerant. Would you say you feel giddy, though? Yes. Yeah. I had Dr. Pepper. How would you How say that dare pairs? you? <laughs> I, dare. Everybody hates me, apparently. I like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah. Sam like Sam loves Dr. Pepper. I don't He's know. Like, he I haven't had soda in like 10 years, so oh, I don't yeah. remember. Good yeah, for you. Yeah, Brandon doesn't drink it. Don't. It's... It's so awful. It, it's it's the worst thing you can have for yourself. I I have w- I, weird tangent story. I have a co- I have an oh, intern ahead, at go. work. Uh, his name, I'm not gonna drop his name. Don't his name. His name. <laughs> no, <laughs> obviously don't, because I don't want to beep it. Yeah, uh, but he's his uh, social security though. His name is Hal. yeah. I'll give Eight, him the six, seven, five, three, um, nine, yeah. It was he saw me drinking uh, five, five. a Dutch Bros, and he's like, you know, the number one killer is for for Native Americans, right? I'm like, yeah, sugar. <laughs> So I'm drinking more, and it's like, all right, well, it's like, you, and you should have been like, oh, I like that. I like that joke when it was on Reservation Dogs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pure <laughs> <laughs> <your> energy, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, she purchased a Holly Jolly Holiday. Oh, and your drink, right? I will say it after this. Oh, after okay, I tell the okay. story. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Jody is excited. She even found a tape of it. As the lady at the Christmas shop said, it's the only tape she's ever seen of Holly Jolly Holiday. Jody wants to watch it now, but Bess wants to finish Wrestle Rama. Jody says it's her turn on the Xbox, and Beth knows better than to argue with her mom's decision. All right, that's valid. Jo- <laughs> Jody pops the tape in, and Beth reluctantly watches it. The movie has Susie, Susie Snowflake, spreading holiday cheer for all to hear. Uh, Beth grows tired of the holiday bullshit and goes upstairs to read a wrestling magazine. Anyone ever read a wrestling magazine? I read, I read one once. Yeah. Wait, why yeah. is she reading a magazine? I, is I, it to look at chiseled abs? Why not? <laughs> I mean, what I are mean, the that's magazines all, for? We'll see what they they tell articles and stuff of like they give like interviews with wrestlers yeah. and I had, people. I had once. I read one specifically in the store because my parents were taking. To oh them. yeah, I always read them in the store. Yeah, I don't. I would never buy it. I hate to say it. I remember I had like a, a an in, an article about German suplexes, and it was like Chris Benoit. Yeah, and like yep. Eddie Guerrero. I love like, Chris Benoit. All, the, oh, all those people. My favorite wrestler. Uh, those are two dead wrestlers. Yeah, that's what's so unfortunate. Rest in peace, Chris Rest Benoit. In peace all of them. Rest um, in peace. More Eddie, Eddie Guerrero because Chris Benoit. Oh, that's went, right. He murder suicided his family. Right. Oh, I totally forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Well, I was yeah, mostly Edgar Guerrero because I yeah. Him. yeah, Edgar Guerrero. That he was one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, Wait, back back to back to uh, no more no more wrestling magazines. No more wrestling. Uh, Wait, this I just wanted to say this so yes. far sounds like a good setup for a creepy pasta. Okay. Yeah, it definitely is. This, <laughs> like it's like oh the this, haunted VHS tape. This book has pure creepy pasta written all over oh, it. Oh, I'm down. Let's see. After a few hours of reading, she smells cookies downstairs. She goes downstairs and grabs one, and it's delicious, and wants to tell her dad that he did a good job with this batch. Aww. When she calls out to him, no one responds, but when she heads to the living room, her sister and mom are watching a Holly Jolly Holiday again. Mom says she made the cookies, and this surprises Beth, as mom can't bake for shit. <laughs> <laughs> Beth thinks mom is joking, and notices her voice is starting to sound like Holly from the video. She... Also notices that her mom's blonde hair is starting to turn a shade redder. Her sister's hair is also turning red, as well as their dog Ivory's. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that means he's pink for a little bit. That's yeah. cute. Little pink dog. Aww. It's like an Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> oh no! No, they give me the dead stare. I'm like, ah, fucking Adam Sandler. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> mom and Jody start singing along to the tape, and Beth leaves frustrated and annoyed at the two. So, qu- weird question for you guys. Uh, we all have siblings here. Yeah. Uh, do you guys ever have, like, did any of your siblings ever have a video that they would watch and you'd be like, okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm not down with this. Oh, no, my it, gosh. It, would, it wouldn't be a video. Actually, no. Or maybe even TV show or something. I was what? a complete follower. Like, I loved anything that my sister liked. Yeah, gotcha. So, yeah. My, you mean, like, something that I just didn't like? Like, you would just be like, I'm not watching this, I'm leaving. Mm. I, like, I, I would... 
my brother, when he was a baby, he loved the hell out of Blue's Clues. Yeah. And I I was with that kid. I was like, I'm not going to watch you. this. I'm not going to watch preschool, baby. This show's for baby. But the only reason I remember Planets is because of the damn songs in that damn yeah. show. It's like, so, so at some point, I did start watching Well, name them off, motherfucker, if you think uh, you're so smart. The sun's a hot star. The Mercury's hot, too. Venus is the brightest planet. <laughs> Our song to me and you. Uh, Mars is a red one. And Jupiter is most wide. And it's got those ice rings and rain spins on its side. Uh, oh, wow. Neptune's really windy. Holy shit. And Pluto's really small. He, For some reason, that stuck in my, my head. Ass. <laughs> I fucking got kybud. You wanted to know the planets, <gasps> and now we named them all. Nowadays, they have really nice toddler rap. Mm, yeah. yeah, or yeah. you can just watch Bluey and be good. Yeah, I don't remember. No, I, I'm more of a Blippy guy. The no, are you? Oh, yeah, you're like bl- <laughs> Blippy. <laughs> uh, recently, I put on Blippy to go to sleep. I did like, something in the background, and uh, me and Kane woke up and <laughs> it had played like a whole season of Blippy. <laughs> So our Netflix is that weird weird looking guy, right? Who like he looks like he touches kids. Yes. So he's the guy that's like, hey kids, and he like moves around. Oh, that guy. um, And he also before he became Blippi. That's so unfortunate. His lore is that he uh, shat on his friend's chest. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember reading that and him wanting people to forget that. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. You you Uh, said Blippi, and I saw this book in the corner. It's a blips. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's a joke book written by R. L. Stein about video games. Um, Oh my god. For your question though, honestly, I. I was pretty okay with all of my the stuff my sister put on. Yeah. Like, even she would watch like Barbie's Nutcracker or whatever, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, after the fifth time, I'd be like, okay. Yeah. Right, I don't think I ever had that problem with my brothers because I mean I'm the youngest. Uh, I think you and me are the youngest, right? Probably. Yeah. So like I I mean I bet I watched stuff that my brother didn't want to watch, but I don't remember ever seeing something that he wouldn't want to watch. Mm. You know. Uh, yeah, I don't remember like. Me and my brother were kind of like, we watched each other's stuff. Like, oh, the only things. There is something. Go ahead. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Elsa. Oh, I would not watch Supernatural. Okay. I oh, you know what? I get into it. Exact same one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Supernatural and Doctor Who. Yeah, I started watching Doctor Who recently because, like, all the classic ones are on uh, Tubi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, Tubi. Yeah. Free. So it's free. Watch mm-hmm. all classic Doctor Who. Maybe Bob That's the Builder nice. is the one I didn't watch. Bob the Builder. Can he either. fuck it? <laughs> I just didn't like the the, st- the art style. It was like, it was clean. Oh, you say you don't like the British? I guess. I don't did, know. So did you like, um, uh, oh my gosh. Did you like the, the Choo Choo Train one? Oh, oh Thomas, Thomas, Thomas the Tank. No, yeah. I, I was. That was never I, I, I missed good. that one because I was like under, like right under the like, age. I feel like Thomas the Tank Engine. It's like you're either old, older than us, yeah. or you're younger than us. Like yeah. for I, I mean, I feel like in yeah, our age I'm, range, it wasn't like shown a couple years yeah. younger than you guys. I got yeah. I got Arthur more yeah, than Arthur. Arthur, yeah. good stuff. Arthur Shang Wan or whatever that Asian cat was called. Yeah, Sagwa. Sagwa, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Between Sagwa. the Lions, Cyber Chase. I never watched Cyber Chase. I like oh, Cyber dude, Chase. Cyber Chase, you're missing out. And yeah, Gilbert Gottfried as a bird. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. He was a, one of the robots. He was yeah. a bird again. He was a good guy. No, he wasn't a bird. I didn't know anything about this kid. He was a bird. He was, he was a Yonko. Well, no, but he, he, was a, a he was a bird. He was a purple bird with a hat. He was the... The was it progressive goose or that's a duck? You duck? I don't know. <laughs> the progressive same thing. Duck? Affleck. Affleck. Yes, that's what it was. Oh, God. No. That's a duck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Racist comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but continuing forward, Beth then noticed. Oh, wait, no, I already read that part. Wait, hold on. Where did I leave off? She got mad and she. Left. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was reading the right part. Beth then notices her own hair is turning red and thinks. There might be something in the house causing this. Oh, no. She heads to the garage and finds her dad working on something. It's she... lead poisoning painted into the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's like a bro mind leak. She tells him what's going on, and he, be- and he doesn't believe her, but he goes to the living room to investigate. Beth waits for 15 minutes for him to return, but gives up and finds that he's watching the tape as well. And that his beard has left his face and his hair is turning red too. What's that is... regular show episode? I watched Star, Go- Star Galaxy. <laughs> uh, uh, 
all the time. I can't yeah. remember what it's called. Oh, fucking oh. the the anime. He watches the anime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is a holiday VHS tape, and he loses the beard. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Because he's turning into a woman. I think it's like Star Girl Excellency or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, Mom and Jody aren't looking too well either, as the pair's hair has become shoulder length, bright red, and curling at the ends, just like Susie's snowflake oh, in no. the tape. The tape ends, and Jody starts to rewind it, and Beth finally realizes the tape is causing all of this. She tries to get the tape, but Jody ejects it first and hides it behind her back. Beth demands the tape, but asks for the magic word. Beth says please, but that's not it. It's a phrase from the movie, but Beth can't remember it. She does the unthinkable and allows herself to get taken over by the snowflake curse. She slowly starts to hum the theme from the movie and get indoctrinated by the thoughts. But when she finally figures out the quote, she blurts out, Pretty bitty please with Christmas trees. (laughs) But not fully remembering why she needed to say such a phrase. Jody hands over the tape. Jody, under the spell of the, or wait, Beth, under the spell of the snowflake, starts to put the VHS, uh, puts the tape in the VHS player, but wrestling is playing on the TV, nice. and it snaps her out of her mind funk. She flings the tape into the roaring fireplace. The family screams and wails as the tape burns to a crisp, but they all start to look like their normal selves again. Damn. A week passes, and it's now Christmas Eve. They didn't talk of the horrific events from the week before. <laughs> Wow, avoidance. Whoa. That's jo- healthy. Uh, <laughs> the whole family's just like, either no, way, it's fine. We're not going to acknowledge that that happened. Scarred. Jody gives Beth a tape starring The Crusher, and she pops it in immediately into the VHS player and asks Jody where she got it. Jody says from the Christmas shop. The lady who sold it to her said it's the only copy she's ever seen. Whoa. Oh, no. Uh... And then everyone slowly turns into wrestlers and they wrestle each other. <laughs> That's exactly where this is German going. German suplex. That's exactly where it's going. So guys, what'd you think of a holly jolly holiday? That was cool. Oh, that was the end. Yeah. Okay. yeah that was the end. Okay. That, okay. Was, okay. that was pretty cool, actually. Yeah. I like that. You regret not reading it? Yeah, I regret not reading it. All right. Well, here are a couple of my notes for you guys to, to, to just think over to make it really think hard. I wonder if R.L. was listening to the final studio album by the Ramones, Adios Amigos, <laughs> to come up with the wrestler named The Crusher, because there was a song called The Crusher on there. Oh, that's funny. I, w- I honestly wonder if uh, the anim- the show they were watching was either Claymation or 2D Animation. <laughs> Uh, well, speaking of that, there is no reference to whether it's, like, live action or not kind of thing. Yeah. But Jody says the Holly Jolly Holiday plays 16 times a day. This book came out in 1997. That's the same year that the all-day TNT Christmas Story Marathon started. Did R.L. predict Ooh. this? Oh. Probably not, because before the all-day Turner Marathon, stations would play it multiple times per day. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, though. Oh, yeah. Wait, play what specifically? Inspired. A Christmas Story. Oh, A Christmas Story? Oh, <laughs> I, I thought you were yeah. asking yeah. jokingly. It's the, the movie the you hate. Yeah, yeah, with the little kid. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. love it. They still do I that with like it. I know yep, you Yep, TBS. Do. And I think CMT plays A Christmas Story too. You're gonna draw, you're gonna go draw, I'm gonna go watch it. Was there other movies that they played on repeat during Christmas time? A Christmas Story 2 on CMT. <laughs> no, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Oh, oh I can't stand yeah. that. <laughs> they play it on Fox, oh, wow. I'm pretty sure. A movie you cannot time. stand? Uh, I made mean, special. Ooh. Well, still. I mean, I'll watch it, but, like, I don't care for it. Grandma mm. goes to the pants off. <laughs> I, I freaking hate that song That's so the only good much. song. I hate no, it. It's not a good song. <laughs> it sounds like, what's it called? Daria's best friend is singing along it's with It's just her. like, I just like the Lominos, like, in the middle with, like, little ad-libs. Grandma's there. gonna find a house of Santa. <laughs> uh, a Holly Jolly Holiday would come out to about an hour and a half if they didn't play commercials in between, if they played it all day long, or possibly an hour with commercial breaks. Depends on that's that's how I figured out how long the movie was. <laughs> I watch it all, every day, all day. Oh my goodness. Luis is one of those traditionalists. He'll watch all the Christmas things when Christmas comes by. Oh, I, I at Thanksgiving, too. I immediately put on uh, Home Alone and then. Uh, 
Our, my favorite, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, Jingle all the way. Thank you. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even know his favorite Schwarzenegger. I am tired. Let me what, a <laughs> what a bitch. I'm going to do that for Halloween. Isn't oh, there a, you said there was a specific Thanksgiving story, though. Oh, no. Uh, um, Adam Family Values. We watched that. The only oh. cr- Thanksgiving movie you need to watch is A Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> it takes place between Christmas, Halloween and Christmas. Thanksgiving movie. Perfect Thanksgiving That is true. Thanksgiving <laughs> horror, isn't there? There is a Thanksgiving door. There's a turkey door. Eat me! I yeah. wish they kidnapped the turkey. That would have been hilarious. Because it's the holiday in between them. Eh, they can kidnap the Easter Bunny. It's good enough I, for me. I just like, like, I just like the, the satiricalness of that damn sh- the part with the whole play. It's great. And then all the kids go, woo, 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 woo. Yeah, and then and and it's like, bad And again. it's bad. And I was like, but they're still killing the pilgrims. <laughs> I still want that. <laughs> I'll, I'll let it pass. <laughs> here, here, here first. Native representation is okay now. All right, my final note. So this is a this is a very fun fact for you guys. An adaptation of this story occurs during Goosebumps Horror Town. Uh, that's a little like build your town little game uh, for Goosebumps on the phone. Aww. It's cute. I like it. All right. It's not my favorite. Is it new? Uh, it's been around for a while. It's the Ellie's Garden or whatever. Yeah. yeah it, I was going to say the My Little Pony one or the Simpsons Tapped Out. Because those are the only ones I know. Or the Family Guy one. Cause every fucking... I feel like every series has their own. Uh, but the event is called Attack of the Christmas Presents. Susie would later Ooh. appear during the 12 Screams of Christmas event. Also of note, friend of the podcast Jude, when he reviewed more and more and more tales in uh, 2017... They gave all the stories gag nicknames based off of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> and they titled the one that we read Sugar Cookie Speedway Zone, which ties into the drink I made. Nice. Nice. Yep. Coming around. Also, uh, someone who worked on Horror Town probably saw that review and used the name in the game as well. So it's uh, shout out to them. Yeah. That's a good name. Yeah. I was about to say, they actually do reference that title in the game. That's Is the game cool. still being produced? Can yeah, it's, you can that? still play it. Yeah, you can still play. <laughs> is it like an old platformer or something? No, it's it's a build a game where you build oh, the town, build town. It's like a Farmville type. Yeah, Farmville. Oh. There we go. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I made the the drink I called the Sugar Cookie Speedway Zone. You take a half ounce of vanilla vodka, a quarter ounce of amaretto, a quarter ounce of Bailey's, add a little bit of cream. You're supposed to shake it up in an ice cold uh, uh, canister, but I didn't do that because I just wanted to have the drink. And I put a little bit of alcoholic whipped cream on top, take it all in, and it tastes like a sugar cookie. Dang. Sugar cookie, but like, with a bite. With a bite. Try it. Yeah. Uh, next time. Maybe next time. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it out of season. Yeah, exactly. I don't, <laughs> mind. I don't mind making things out of season. How dare you consume we can say sugar it's something cookies else. out of season. <laughs> all right, you guys. Time for random questions. Ooh. Questions. Questions. Do you guys enjoy the all-day Christmas story event on TBS or other chase shows? Never. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I, I, I love a Christmas story. Uh, I know how stupid it is, but it's just... I take like offense that you call it stupid. I think it's a holiday classic. It is a classic, but there, you know, because it's the racism in there. It's, come on. What racism? At the end. <laughs> It's Asian, as Brandon put it. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's you can't make fun of, or you can't be racist towards Asians. <laughs> can't oh be God. racist towards Asians. If it's Asian. any Jingle consolation, bar. my mom loves the ending of that movie, and she's, she's married to an Asian man. <laughs> how does your dad feel about Honestly. that? Exactly. How uh, that? I don't think he cares. How does the Ocean Man, who's his his home country was bombed the most yes. by Henry Kissinger, who fucking died? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, like, two like days ago. Yesterday. Whoa. Yeah. Good. Anyways. Holiday in Cambodia, guys. Woo! Uh, um, Damn. What was this? Po- oh, we were but, talking about... Uh, the, yeah, how do you feel about I, the all-day Christmas story? I love oh, how yeah. how mm-hmm. crazy it is when the storytelling just thinks no, I'm, I'm so not different. asking if you like the movie. I'm asking if you like the all-day event. Um, mm, all-day event, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little too I, much. I like it at the beginning when I'm at my mom's, but like by the end, I'm like, let's put something else on. Yeah, exactly. Not all day. Yeah, yeah. I think I was indifferent to it when I was little, but then it just got played so much that yeah. I'm just like, nah, I, wonder, I don't want to watch this. Like, do you think they do it so you have something to listen to while you're making cookies? Well, they do it because what's it called? Ted Turner has the streaming, or not streaming, but the uh, airback rights and has it indefinitely. And he's like, I want to make all the money. And now it's tradition, so. Oh, wow. Uh, that's funny. Well, good for him. I guess he's making money. I'm I'm Ted Turner. I'm Ted Turner. 
I'm, I'm on it. Next question. Do you have a favorite Christmas movie or special? That's a. It's a I mean, it's a hard besides decision. Nightmare Before Christmas, because that's I, honestly the for for, for the Shannon Christmas, Carl. I don't count Nightmare Before Christmas. <gasps> oh, okay. Even, that's, a, that's a Thanksgiving movie. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Fair, fair. For okay. like, because I like Nightmare Before Christmas in general. When it comes to like holiday movies, like just straight up Christmas or. So uh, here's a, here's a better question. What can you only watch during the holiday season? Jingle all ho- jingle all the way. Jingle all the way. Yeah. For sure, I agree with you on that one. What about um, you, Brendan? Or, or no, I oh, one. I have this strange love hate for Elf. Yeah, uh, oh, I, that's I, a good I understand one. that. I fully understand it's that. So I like cringe. Elf. <laughs> like, what? We were watching it the other day, and yeah. I could not sit. Like, Luis had to change the channel when it got to the part where he's like telegram singing to his dad or whatever. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace, James Con. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think growing up, I always had an aversion towards, like, holiday specials. Because then it's like... Really? Yeah, it, it, it always felt out of season when you watch it. Okay. And it's, like, not that season. So, I'd, like, in my brain, I was just like, holiday specials are bad. Oh, wow. Really? But it, they're not inherently bad. I just had that association. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Charlie Brown Christmas, no matter how Christian it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. um... um for Halloween, what's the scary godmother? Like that that's the feeling that I get when I see holiday specials. It's like, ah, oh, this shit. Yeah, it's like, oh, this thing's down again. <laughs> see, that's how I feel about grandma got run over by a wing. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. That vibe. Of like uh... I wonder okay, what's uh what's then let's take off that, like what's a movie that you can't watch during the holidays? Elf. <laughs> hey, Tango, you're watching it right now on your phone. Uh, Liar. Don't tell nobody. I'm, I'm trying to think of that too. Uh, like, I was about to say because, like, I watch. I mean, I'm I'm a schmuck when it comes to Christmas stuff. I will watch it if it's on or if it if I see something is streaming that I like as a Christmas movie, I will yeah. put it on immediately. I mean, fuck, I put Eight Crazy Nights on because I saw it was on Hulu. I like that movie a lot. Yeah, it's fun. I, I like that movie too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? I changed my mind. My favorite's the Always Sunny in Philadelphia episode where Charlie. <laughs> Bites Santa's nose off. <laughs> what? Classic. <laughs> he has this realization about his childhood and he sits in tra- Santa's lap and he's like, Did you fuck my mom? And what? Santa's like, What are you talking about? And... <laughs> oh my gosh. What about oh alternative, like, Christmas movies? Because, like, stuff like. Uh, I feel like Die Hard has become like kind of the big. This is a Christmas movie, but I always consider it like an alternative one. You know, like Night same thing with like Christmas. Yeah, not really. That's it has Christmas in its fucking name. I'm talking about stuff that is not inherently Christmas themed, but it definitely has that feeling. Like Lethal Weapon, for instance, is another one. It's a Christmas movie. It takes place during Christmas. Mm, I I can't come up with a, like at the top of my head. Oh, going back to the other one real quick. What is yeah. the stop motion? What? what are you okay? No, I'm, I'm glad with this. I'm no, gonna... sorry, sorry. Uh, stop being a bitch, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of... Do you have something to say to the class? <laughs> I I was like, alternative Christmas movies, Eight Crazy Nights. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a <laughs> movie. That is, it is true, though. It, it is an has, alternative no, it, no. it has Christmas in it. It does have Christmas in it, but it revolves around that, though. It revolves around the <laughs> holiday itself. Sorry. No I guess, yeah. Yes. I was going to say another movie I can't stand. It. I, I'm sorry, honey. It's the stop motion one with the reindeer. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer? Rudolph. Rudolph. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, love that Rudolph. One. Yeah. Yeah. I can see why you I don't can't like stand any, it. I don't like any of the others. Rudolph's the only one I like in all I just honesty. think it's really silly when it's like, oh, we're Misfoot Toys. I have stripes <laughs> on me. Okay. So. It was made in the 50s, Noelia. Stripes were a big <laughs> no, no-no for I fashion. understand that because, okay, I do The blackface every- one is not supposed to be welcome, Noelia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just making oh, it. Oh. I was like, there's blackface. That's right how he there. was misfit, huh? Yeah, that's why he was oh, misfit. Oh, um, a couple of them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, my <laughs> dad. <laughs> my dad doesn't <laughs> show emotion <laughs> for a lot of things, but yeah. he always gets really excited for those. The, the, the Rankin Bass? Yeah, the yeah. um, the the stop motion. Yeah, Rankin Bass ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So cute. I do watch them with him, but I'm not. I think I only one... like Rudolph. Honestly, I don't like any of the others. Like, I, like... I hate Santa Claus Comes to Town. I like that one. It's so boring. I, I like it. It's it's the year without Santa Claus. The only part that's good about that are is fucking Heat Miser and uh, Ice Miser, whatever the fuck your name is. Yeah, yeah, like those are the only good parts about that. Sorry. I'm Mister Heat Miser. Oh. What's the, um... Oh, no, what are you saying? Oh, I was gonna say, one of the Christmas movies I actually can tolerate is The Santa Claus. 
I like that one. Oh, the one Tim Ellen? You mean the one star in the race? <laughs> What? No, no, I'm just kidding. Oh my well, he's gosh, not kidding. He's, so Tim cool. Allen's got a really funny easy stand up special. Oh. He's definitely right wing. Oh. I, mean, I like oh, no, Santa he, Claus. He's, uh, he has a stand up routine where he like goes on stage and he's like, I can't say the N word anymore. And then he says it 50 times throughout the. Oh my, oh my god. god. And he keeps talking about the. I people's, can't be canceled. The People's <laughs> Republic of China or uh, of California. Oof. Oh, um, um, so let's change things up. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> alternative. Uh, what's the one with the the guy that everybody thinks is hot, and that's the only reason that people watch it? Uh, On TikTok. Why are being more so... fucking descriptive than that? Yeah. With the Christmas special with the guy that, the, the Jack Frost guy that everybody's like... Oh, are you talking oh, about Rise that, of the Guardians? Rise, Rise of the Guardians. Guardians. That is oh. not a Christmas movie. It takes place during Easter. No, but it's an alternate Christmas movie. No. It's about a frosty no. guy. Kind of. Uh, uh... Frozen? It's Santa Claus. Frozen, what I would think, is like good. Yeah, alternate one because it doesn't take place around the holidays, but yeah. it's definitely cold. And that's why I consider like the thing also is a good alternate one because it doesn't take place around Christmas. It's just there's a lot of snow. Yeah, that's I would true. I think uh, Blindside would be, but there's controversy about that now. So now it's like no one cares about uh, Blindside. Ah, yeah. I liked it. <laughs> yeah, no. starring Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. the little girl. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. All right, what Christmas special would be your holly jolly holiday, a.k.a. one that you can't stand? Okay, there's that. Yep, that, uh, there's my question. Uh, I can't think right question? Well, uh, you, said, you already said Rudolph. Yeah, Rudolph. Uh, Rudolph, okay. Rudolph would definitely be oh, yours. Oh, we're going to that question, yeah. 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 I mean, all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A Christmas story would actually take my number one spot. Oh, my gosh. I just like it so much. Is that bad? Yeah. It's... What don't you like about it? I never watched it growing up, so I don't have a nostalgia. I mean, I'm not. Factor. I'm not talking about the nostalgia classic, but what don't oh, you okay. like about it? I. Um, I think the dad's kind of scummy. Like, I mean, yeah, the that's whole... the point. Yeah, it's a, it, it's that's the whole point of the the movie or the story it's for me. It's people. like it's how uh, what's it's natural. It? That's just how natural it is. How not dysfunctional a... the family is, but yeah. at the same time, it's like they're fine. They all come together for Christmas, yeah. which is what it brings uh... all dysfunctional. Because his really his brother is like. A weirdo, and then him himself, he's a weirdo. Dad is a jerk, and mom is just like, Mom's mom. Mom's just mom's beating in mom. the corner, just it, taking it. She's yeah. Lamps. Yeah. I don't really consider the brother a weirdo. He doesn't have any, he has no personality. That's true. He's just a he's little just a brother kid. who's scared. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I can't move my arms. Okay. I can't move my arms. <laughs> uh, I can't, I, I nothing. Yeah, we can't move your arm. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't come up with something that like I can't stand. Honestly, Christmas you, well, you don't Christmas you, stuff. You, you even uh, uh, what's it called Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Yeah, no, no, I like Grandma got run over. The only thing I don't it. like it, I will skip every time. It's the grandma. Uh, Grandma's gonna sue the, the pants off. off. <laughs> I remember when I was little, my grandpa actually he handed me a VHS tape and he was like, "I recorded something for you," and it's like. Just very rare, very special, and it was because I didn't have cable at the time. Yeah. It was just that scene in, in the <laughs> the girl got run over by reindeer. Just that scene. It was the scene where they're like doing the grandma's gonna sue the pants off. He was scene. teaching you it's okay to masturbate. <laughs> was it? Because <laughs> they're attractive women. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Cousin Ethel or whatever her fucking name is was very attractive for an animated character. Oh the 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 redhead? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hot. Yeah. I can. I remember. I that. guess. Don't like. I think I was too young. Uh, also, I didn't like the art style. All right. So uh, all all those ones that you said, would you be horrified if your family was transforming into those characters? Ooh, oh. that's a good one. Honestly, no. I would because Nightmare Before Christmas. That would be <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> Oh, especially the brain one. The, the wait, wait, you're saying that you, you hate Nightmare Before Christmas? I would not want my family turning into them because they're creepy as hell. <laughs> I know, love the movie, what, but what dang. I realized which one I don't, I will never watch yeah. again. Jack Frost. The, oh, I hate the Jack Frost one. Yes, I action. forgot about that one. Yeah, the one with the snowman. Oh, God, yeah, that one sucks. Yeah, no, I hate... <gasps> I hate no, that I like, one. I lied. I love that movie. <laughs> it's so <laughs> creepy. Oh. It's so you creepy. You love it because it's creepy? Yeah. I've never seen it, so do tell. It's bad. It, it's just it's like boring. this really horrifying uh, special effect of a living snowman 
But like the idea of this guy just like this snowman it's living. Supposed to be inside. Michael Keaton snowman. Yeah. Was it Michael Keaton? Yeah. Yeah. Is it Even like creepier, yeah. a man's face what? or something? Like it's. He played not... Parker. It Russo. looked really real when That's I was it. little. Oh, I'm yeah. sure the CG doesn't hold it's, up nowadays. It holds up okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or I don't know. Maybe they just used real snow and like. Yeah, I think they. I think it may have been a puppet with a little bit of CG. Yeah. Yeah, and there's like definitely points where you can tell where it's CG, like when he's sledding and he's throwing all the snowballs and shit. But it, it's basically like a bunch of shots of this dad stalking his son, oh. but as like a snow, a creepy snowman, and it's all like very yeah. darkly lit, and like he's looking through the windows all the time. <laughs> oh it's my horrifying. Yeah. That's such an interesting movie, and it's not horror. So the, <laughs> it's not. There, there is a Jack Frost horror movie, but it's completely different. I don't. It, it, it's got a creepy vibe because like the dad dies at the beginning. Yeah, oh. and that's why he's a he's a snowman. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I'm only it's here really for creepy. this season to love you, son, and tell you I love you. Goodbye. Before I melt away. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that's a little bit of the plot. Yeah, before that's I melt away. So sad. <laughs> I, I no. I don't All right, guys. Like it. Those are the last of my questions. Do you guys have any random questions oh. related to the story? Of if Christmas? you were a snowman, do you think that you would die very slowly, or do you think it's sudden? <laughs> we're live. We live in Tucson, so pretty slowly, depending on the season, or very quickly. It depends what season. Do you die when you turn into water? Like if the water's kept in one place, does it Ooh, hurt? It's like it's like elemental, you know, you. when he's in the it. in the uh, the hearth, when he just like gets in there and like he starts dripping. It's like oh oh the movie yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I was about to say you watched okay. that movie like five times. How would you not remember that? I'm sorry, I'm thinking like live action, live action. What was elemental? <laughs> I was thinking of uh, Frozen when Olaf starts melting. God, I wish he would die. <laughs> I have not seen... Pa- I don't think I've even seen Frozen 2. Is there more than I, two? There's only the two. Oh, okay. There's like some like short Show. movies, but yeah. they don't really matter. Yeah. I never finished Frozen 2. I got bored. Yeah, I would say it was kind of boring. I, I got to the Kristoff song, and I was like, this is stupid, and I changed it. And Sam finished it, and she liked it, though, apparently. Ah, so there's I, a Christmas I, movie. I like Frozen say. 1 better than 2. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Except for the water reasons. horse thing, that was pretty cool. But other than that, <laughs> the, yeah, pretty good. Good, yeah. Yeah, that's a goosebumps in itself, actually. What if you were transported into the body of a snowman? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's called uh, Beware the Snowman. That sounds like <laughs> there a, you that's go. actually not the plot at all. Don't eat one. yellow snow. That's you have also to avoid <laughs> all oh, yeah, that's, a, that's actually a true story. You avoid the yellow snow. <laughs> that's in this book. Really? Fit story, yeah. Wait, is it really? Oh my god, let's keep going, let's keep going. Uh, okay, so do you guys have any pairings for the for a Holly Jolly holiday? Do you what do you have any Ooh. stories or anything that you'd pair with a this? Spooky one? Or anything. Jack honestly, Frost. Honestly Oh You'd watch Jack Frost with this? Anything Tim Burton, honestly, just because it gives me those um Nightmare Before Christmas vibes, you know, so like the Frankenweenie, the Corpse Bride, um Yeah. Coraline. Maybe. Coraline is... That's Henry Selleck. That's yeah. Laika. Laika? I'm Laika? thinking, yeah, um, Laika. Yeah. I'm thinking the animation style now. Yeah. Just yeah. Stop, stop motion in general. But if you legit like Christmas, I feel like the Lego movie is excellent just because it has an excellent... Consumerism! <laughs> it has a message about being together with family, not being so serious in the end for the dad. Coming <laughs> together. But yeah, there's that too. Hmm. I mean, like I said at the beginning, it sounds like a creepypasta. Yeah. I just wish I knew... Which one? Which one specifically it reminded me of. But it's always like, oh, we got that haunted thing, and now yeah. something horrifying is happening in real is life. Is creepypasta a website? Yeah. No, creepypasta is just like a genre of yeah. 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 stories that were so. I mean, there probably is a website. Find these? I mean, you just Google it. You just Google the word creepypasta. Well, the whole reason it's called pasta is because people would copy-paste them around, right? Mm. So you'd find them in, like, YouTube comments. Yeah, because oh. it used to be called copy pasta. whenever you would copy a story and then paste it somewhere else. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Definitely so it, it would just get shared around the internet. That's and creepy versions were called creepypastas. Yeah. Neat. Wait, do you have anything to pair with this story? Uh, I'm trying to think of the... Okay, it's called Planet Chaser Planet Chaser Starlight Excellent All Day, Every Day. <laughs> Watch that! It's like barfing rainbows in my eyes! I watch Planet Chaser Starlight Excellent all day, every day. You already said that. I watch it all day, every day. <laughs> no, from the reg- now. Yeah, for the regular show. Because that's exactly what happens. They watch the, the, the show and then they like... Get, get consumed. Get consumed by the show. Oh, fair that's enough. Great. Good episode, Chase. I do yeah. love regular show. Yeah. Right, I have two pairings. Mm-hmm. 
If you want another story with a different cursed videotape, go with the Ring franchise. Hey. Okay, uh, yeah. There's a book, a manga, multiple movies, a video game for the Dreamcast, and so much more. See, when you said haunted VHS tape, I was like, is he going to crawl out of a stocking? Like, what is, how is this going to happen? <laughs> this is not the Goosebuds character Slink. But it's a fat Santa, like, I... not scary at all, but trying to be scary. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you a fun fact about the Ring? Go ahead. It, it takes place in a VR simulation. <laughs> That's literally the sequels. They expand that would upon make it, sense. and apparently it was all a simulation. Wow! Wow! My other one is the Santa Claus. Hey. Uh, yes, the movie starring everyone's favorite racist uncle Tim Allen. Both stories have Christmas characters being forcibly transformed against their will. Uh, that's okay. true. true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. True. yeah, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Ratings review. Uh, how would you would you rate this story that I just told you that you haven't read? Um, quite good actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I out of five or out of ten? Out of five. Out of five. Out of five. Uh, I'd give it a four point five. Okay, that's yeah, high. That's high. pretty darn good. I feel like there needs to be more conflict. Ooh. It's a short story. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I I give it a four out of five redheads. Yeah. Okay. Because they're all redhead at some point. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Yeah. Even the dog. <laughs> Even the dog, there you go. You, you include the dog in that. Mm-hmm. Poor Ivory. I love that name of choice of Ivory of like, oh, you know this dog is white because it's named Ivory. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. I RL could never come that. up with something like that. <laughs> what about you, Brian? Did you uh, give uh, a number? Let's do a five. Out of five? Out of ten. <laughs> we don't do out of ten on this podcast, sir. Right, five out of seven. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember that. All right. This, yeah, do some math. This one is quite the original idea. Color me surprised that there's such a unique story in the sixth and final Tales to Give You Goosebumps book. It makes me wonder if it were possibly ghost written, but I digress. I find the idea of a tape that indoctrinates and starts slowly transforming those who watch it a very creepy concept. Mm. I also find the length of this one to, to be just right. It's just short enough to give you goosebumps without making you hate these characters. <laughs> and the ending is nice and ambiguous and lets the reader's imagination run wild with it. I give a holly jolly holiday five pretty bitty Christmas trees out of five. Wow. Yes, <laughs> <Pretty, pretty, laughs> I, yep, I gave it a I gave it a perfect score. I love I'll, this I'll one. I'll have to read it. I'll have to read yeah. it. Archive.org. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alrighty, guys. Uh, thank you for joining us this week. Uh, happy, m- happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, Kwanzaa. Don't get Kwanzaa. run over. Have a crazy Kwanzaa. 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 <laughs> a solemn Ramadan. Uh, uh, Merry, Merry Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. <laughs> it's Chrysler. Chrysler. Oh no. Oh well, no. This almost sounds like Chrysler. Oh no. Bad. He's the reason for the season. <laughs> oh my gosh. That uh, reminds me of my school. They had, their slogan was be a part, but it uh, sounds like be a part. Yeah, yeah. People. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us this time, guys. Hey, if you like what you heard, make sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz. Rate and review us where you can. Spotify, iTunes, all those places. Rate and review. It, it helps people find us. Uh, if you like what you heard, make sure to follow us at SOW underscore podcast on Twitter. We're not calling it the other word. <laughs> We're going to dead name it? Yeah, dead name it. It's okay to dead name a website Damn. that's this wow. toxic. Wow. Yeah. Um, and you can follow us on Blue Sky Speak, uh, Drunk Book Club. Oh my god, I, did I say SOW underscore podcast? Is it a DBC podcast? Oh, oh you might Wow, you dead named yourself. I dead named myself. <gasps> DBC underscore pod, oh no. That's funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's where you can find us. You can find us at Drunk Book Club on patreon.com uh, slash Drunk Book Club. A dollar a month gets you all the bonus content, a bonus episode every week, all the show notes for episodes like this, my weekly lightning pair-ups, and episodes early, like a week early, because I like posting stuff early, because I'm cool like that. Mm. I'm cool like that. It's only a dollar also. Join our patron, Trey, who's mighty lonely. Join him. He's scared and lonely. (laughs) (laughs) He just wants a warm cup of milk. Won't you help him? Mm. (laughs) Uh, and yeah, that's where you can find me, Weiss. Uh, you can find me on YouTube and Instagram, Force Left Hander, uh, Drop to E, Keep the R, like on Dr. Hander. On Hander. Yep. Um, you, and... got any, you got anything new coming up or planned out? <laughs> I haven't, I, not really, uh, I haven't... What's the last thing you put out? I put out, uh, the Ruby AMV. 
Oh, Which did pretty well. Ruby um, tribute mm, for all just, the good parts of Ruby. Yeah, I think one of my favorite comments, I think it's the only comment so far, is somebody had said, uh, you know, a good reminder of the better times of Ruby. <laughs> Damn. And I was like, yeah. that's exactly why I made it, because I only, I only focus on uh, the, tra- uh, the trailers and season one and well, two. it was all Monty Ohm stuff. Yeah. yeah Monty yeah. Ohm stuff. Oh, I, uh, well, I'll talk about that later, but, but, What, what yeah. song was it to? Uh, Caffeine. Caffeine, right. Oh, I love Caffeine. Mm-hmm. It's such a good song. But, I can't remember the names for the, for the life of me, but, it'll the be cool there. Name, yeah. Brandon. Uh, you can find me at Eldritch Made on X.com. Twitter. Xvideos.com. Yeah, Xvideo, Xhamster.com. <laughs> yeah, Dude, yeah. I, I've seen a, a, a meme where it had Anakin in the council, and uh, Anakin was X, and he's like, you guys are all look like, or pretend like you're all better than me, and it's every X on a yeah. freaking porn <laughs> site as a council was like, what? <laughs> I like that they changed the, they took the Family Guy meme and made it the, Je- the Jedi meme. Yeah. It sounds so wrong when you're like, oh yeah, you can find me on X.com. Yeah, that's why like, I say what Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I say Twitter. Because guess true. what? If you type in Twitter.com, it still takes shit to Twitter. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> it still cool. takes shit to X. You can't find me anywhere, but go bake some snickerdoodles for Christmas. Also, Yay. Brandon's also on uh, Blue Sky, too. Oh. oh, yeah, I am. I haven't posted anything, though. I'm so sorry. I, I barely post on there. It's kind of boring. Yeah. I'm waiting for everyone, all the Goosebump people to move there <laughs> and stuff. Also, we, I have a Blue Sky code if you'd like it. I have a bunch of them. I'll just, like, do random stuff Remind on it. <laughs> like, Blue nothing Skies? that matters. It's Twitter without the racism. Oh. <laughs> Did someone make it for that reason? They yeah, it's pretty much made. I think it's made by the original people who made Twitter. That's I'm mistaken. hilarious. I love that. Yeah, it's pretty. It's it's all right. I have you can. It's only it's invite only. So Chris that's why like, you don't have like a lot of like bots and shit like that. Chris that's is like, nice. I miss the racism though. <laughs> that's why I stay on Twitter. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you for joining us this week, guys. Oh, and also you can find Sam, beautiful Sam, who couldn't join us this week because she had to work, at Berserker Rose on Twitter and Instagram. Or uh, hardly on Instagram or Twitter, and sometimes Blue Sky and all that other stuff. Rest in peace. (laughs) Rest in peace. peace. Sam, if you listen to this, I'm sitting in your spot. (laughs) Yeah, we just sitting in your spot. How does that make you feel? (laughs) She won't feel a difference. Her ass is too thick for this shit. (laughs) With with two C's. (laughs) All right, uh, Christmas song. Here come two big snowflakes dressed in a snow white gown. Tap, tap, tapping on your window pane to tell you she's in town. Ooh, here come two big snowflakes, soon you will hear.